Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! What are looking for a way to get back? Fake by Berto. I said earlier that Porter. Good right hand by Berto. You expect in a straight ahead tight battle. Multitude of the Another clubbing right by Berto as Porter walked into it. Both trying to head fake. Need to be jamming to keep Berto off. Good right hand by Porto. Find him. A very active round three. Winner gets a shot at Keith Thurman. When you see mirror image guys, as these fighters have been described, what will happen eventually is... Bruno back to create some punching move. Wailing away on the inside. It's gritty inside battle. So a good round for Porter. His body work in round two. Punctuated by a match. Andre Berto, 31 and four. Good right hand by Porter. Nice body shot by Porter. The referee may be quite busy in the early part of this fight. As they are tying up. Porter over the top of the right hand. A body shot. The key for him here is not to smother himself. As the heads come together again. Porter just bought himself. So far he's letting them fight out of it. And with one hand free, they're both going at it. I'm Dave Bontempo. Glad you're with us wherever you tuned in throughout the world. Through the top left. Wild shot by Porter Jeff. Some more a championship fight is the hardest one you'll ever face. That's the one that sets up the payday. They're free though, if you don't separate them, separate them all the way. Don't just tap one fighter's arm. That would be his shortcut to a victory. On the inside, they battle rival siblings who don't want to listen to their parents. Porter is doing some excellent work here. Good right hand by Thurman. Right to the body by Porter. To have Berto's head rubbing against that cut and making it worse. Or either you have to fight desperately, which he seems to be doing. Referee Mark Nelson lets them go. These guys know each other's moves so well that they have Berto jab. What happens in human nature, if you're a fighter, you see a doctor look at your cut. You'll respond with a lot of desperation in the area of his left eye. Referee looks at the sense that he saw the butt. Both guys step with their left foot when they start to fake. They both know the moves. Now, when you have two straight ahead guys, Heads come together again. At the corner men battle, as do the fighters in this welterweight title eliminator. 
It often sets up for a nice, in tight battle. But there are two guys who like to fight exactly the same way. People in this country who have been affected by about threatening cuts. Two of the three. Berto launching the uppercut to the right hand and the left hook will let you have. It's like umpires in other sports. Everybody has their own. Go back there and help. And what happens now, either guy, you're thinking if this fight ends, he gets up and comes back strong. And both. And this is a referee that lets these guys punch out, so he has to faint, move. Yeah, by Berger, then he tries to get a pinch. Seeing one punch at a time, not seeing much in the way of combinations. Look on the scorecard, so each round is critical. And Porter is teeing off on Berto. Berto lands a body shot. Faint as they start off on the left foot. Listen to advice from their corners as Porter had all the intentions as he made Berto miss and nearly made him pay. Jab by Porter to a title fight. They're very good guys. And Porter surprised him with a jab after the head faint. Round eight. Roberto and Shrub Porter. Porter coming off. Hold up, big shots, Porter to the bottom. We know each other too well, same style. And Porter comes right back in this round, left hook. Works the body. Porter with a good uppercut. Good one by Porter to the body again. Left hook by Porter. Get out of that spot, that's indicative that this is a power. Round eight has been a real good one and perhaps his most definitive of the fight. Porto slips. And they said the gloves touch, no, but here's Porter right back on him. And that time he is down. For Cap, standing eight, but the ropes held Porto up. Porto the big rounds. The jab, the right hand just missed. Berto hurt again. Who will make the call, the referee or the corner? The referee will. Mark Nelson puts a stop to it. And a good, timely decision by him. I'm Sean Porter.